It's Neil from Heaviosity. I'm here to remind you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will not regret it. Then you get all the good news. Maybe even like a video. We would love you to do it. And you won't be sorry. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Neil, and I'm back again with you here. Uh, we've got a new product release. It's called Ascend Modern Grand, and we're super excited about it. It's this beautifully recorded, deeply sampled modern grand piano, and a lot more. And the a lot more part is really what I'm most excited about. Let me quickly run through some of these articulations that we did, because they're pretty unique. We've got a whole sustained bucket or a sustained group of sounds that we recorded on this piano we used a brush on the strings and we also used twine and flossed the strings so to speak to make them speak we used an ebo which is typically used on electric guitar it's a small device that has a magnet in it and you hover that ebo over the guitar strings and the magnetic field makes the string vibrate um, and so you don't have to strum so we figured why not try that on the piano and we got these amazing results It's like this really cool resonant vibe happening. We also did harmonics on a piano There's also three other buckets of sounds one is struck where we have the piano muted and it's a very cool kind of plucky sound There's also the strings hit with a metal object and a wooden object We took a light chain and wove it through the strings and then played it traditionally with the keys So you have this kind of jangly vibe going on playing super quietly on the piano has always been a cool texture to us So we wanted to make sure we capture that as well So we did this whole triple P super quiet performance where we have a full mix We have a close mix only a room mix only and even underneath the piano and then finally what you'd expect the full deeply sampled piano there's a full mix for that there's a close room and an underneath as well and each of those can be loaded into this brand new engine that we created for ascend it's this mixer style with three different points and you can load in the articulation that you want i've got like a full mix in one corner i've got the ebo in another and a brush down here and this circular ball, so to speak, can be moved to any corner of the instrument. You can actually make movements and automate and record those movements. Or you can assign uh, different controllers and move the ball, you know, and record that as MIDI data. There's also a modulation page where the X and Y parameter, which is kind of like the left, right, and the up and down inside this triangle mixer, moves and you can decide at what rate it modulates and how much it modulates it's really neat again it's a new engine for us and we put a lot of thought into it uh, really focusing on the piano the articulations that we captured for the piano and how we could really bring those to life in like this kind of hybrid way so it isn't just yet another uh, nice sounding piano on the market we wanted to do it the way we do it the heaviosity way you know the music meets sound design and have a result that really spoke in a way that was inspiring to use. I think what I want to do is go through and play this demo that I wrote using this and some of our other instruments. And then we can talk about the articulations that I chose and you can hear them in a real world, you know, scenario in the piece. So why don't we just get right into it? And I'm only going to play the parts from Ascend Modern Grand and then we'll start to add in the other stuff. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. We can kind of take a look at what's going on. So let's not go with the obvious. Let's start with this twine. It 
it's an unusual sound and it's pretty neat. It's just this kind of ambient thing going on behind the piano melody. Um, and it's just, it's kind of an atypical sound. So if we put that in with a full mix piano to kind of break this down to a couple of parts, And then if we were to add in this third part, maybe we'll listen to it on its own, which is, as you can see in this corner, it says Ebo. And the brush, it's a combination of those two sounds. So let's see what's going on here. And there's a little twist to it. I'm using um, like a pattern gate. If I were to shut that gate off, you'll hear. And I chose to use the gate to create this kind of rhythmic um, propulsion, this kind of movement behind it. So let's listen to those three parts. And if we take a look at the main piano, the, like basically the full mix of the piano, the deeply sampled piano. So even with this, if you listen closely, there's kind of a breathing with the melody. It's like do do ba do. Uh, 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 uh. Listen one more time, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Right there. Down down down. So let's take a look at what that is. Um, there's a convolution page and uh, just a little background on that. There's more detail in the other videos, but we have all these really cool convolutions, forward uh, convolutions, reverse convolutions, rhythmic convolutions, and rhythmic reverse convolutions. We created all of these. And this is new to this engine. We've never done this kind of thing before. And it's super cool, but we wanted to take it a few steps further. So what's fed into that convolution, you can actually use this pattern gate um, at a certain rate. In this case, I'm using eighth notes. And then uh, the amount, I actually put a you know, a controller knob on it. And as it's playing, while those notes are kind of sustaining, I ride that up. You feel this breathing happening. Let's go back and take a look. Right here. Back it off and then back in. Kind of neat. And so that bum, 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 bum is happening here with a gate with the amount and the rate. Uh, there's also a filter, so you can kind of choose, you know, oh, I don't want that much low end or quite as much top end going in. I can shave those things back with these parameters. You choose your convolution. Maybe you want something really big and echoey sounding, or you want to do something different like a reverse. All that's in there. And that's further fed into the ambient section, which you have a delay and you can choose the subdivision. I'm using a quarter note and quite a bit. And then we've got a really nice sounding reverb after that. Um, I cranked the size up all the way and I made it pretty wet. And then there's a master control for that. So I'm gonna pull that down. Pretty dry versus, you can hear all that good juice on there.
versus off. We go to bar 10. Yeah, you can really hear that cool gate. Pull it down, it's gone. So that's what's happening in those three or four parts. Then we kind of hit a B section of this piece and I have a secondary melody come in here. I'm gonna play that. So in the piece, it sits pretty nicely, but when you listen to it on its own, it's actually a really interesting sound. You know, it's this muted piano with a bit of the woodstruck string. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of ambient sound on that if you go to the convolution. Versus off. So a lot of the sound is coming from this whole convolution chain. Under the convolution, I'm using a Ford, like a Ford convolution called Waves. And it just has a neat sound with this mixture of the muted and the wood. I think we were about right there. So yeah, I'll play it again. Pretty neat. And it sounds a little compressed, and that's because it is compressed. If you go to the effects tab, something new and really cool um, is there are timbral effects, which are compressors, like a clean one, a dirty one. Uh, there's some saturation, aging EQ, filter. You can literally pick these up, drag them in, and drop them. As opposed to timbral are these spatial effects where you've got the gate, you've got this diffusion delay, uh, we've got a stereo delay, a play to hall, and this digiverb. So you can make whatever kind of effects chain that you want in any order, and you can get very creative with it. So on this, uh, I didn't want to use every effect, but I decided to use this clean compressor, and it adds a little bit of compression to it, which makes the sound pop a bit more. That's out right now. And then in. So you get like a like a sharper attack and it really cuts through. So if we play that with the other parts, and again just with the Send Modern Grand here. section on and fades out so why don't we add in some of the other elements to see what this sounds like as a whole so I'm gonna go back and just a, a quick overview of what's going on I've got strings pretty subtle but adding a little um, know, some lushness a little bit of uh, character and warmth to it maybe we've got brass it was kind of an experiment with a brass I wanted to see if I could get it to be this kind of supporting subdued vibe underneath so to speak and not really stand out in a huge way there is a French horn line that kind of works with a piano later on that we'll hear and then finally some um, percussion which is pretty tame there's some loops an ethnic frame drum and some gravity booms so let's play this
pretty much all piano right now with a little, you know, uh, kind of hi-hat ride. Let's take a look at some of these other parts. Again, the intro is mainly piano with a little uh, time kind of counting out the cymbals, this stuff, just real, real subtle. And then the strings come in. There's not a lot to it, but why not just solo so you can see what I'm doing? Kind of following the melody here with these violins. On its own, it's kind of pretty. Let's just put in the main piano melody and see how that works. Kind of neat. Then there's the second section. In this section, the violins are taking a back seat, and up here we've got this rhythmic texture thing going on, which I thought was fun. It's in the performance, just kind of following the chord motion. What else is going on? So we've got that with the piano, and then there's the brass. Let's get through that and see um, what and why. So you can see how it's just kind of this lower end supporting. It's it's pretty thick and warm. Um, I think my experiment worked. It works with the piano. I wanted to really have the piano be that out, out front melody uh, instrument that really carried the the tune. So if you put the piano in with that. And this is the secondary melody. So with the main melody, which at this point in the piece takes a bit of a backseat to this second, uh, more plucked sound melody. So with this second uh, ascend piano melody in with the first main part in the brass, French horn, that's the part I was talking about that kind of sticks out. So that kind of plays against the secondary piano melody.
and then it goes into the third section, which is this kind of, um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's intense, and it's kind of like almost serious, but uh, let's just play it, and then we can take a look at what's going on. just echoes on forever so that last chord this is just the um, the main piano melody on this last chord I, I laid off of the lower octave in the piano so it felt a little more settled and subtle in the, in its landing satisfying minor chord so that's kind of the whole piece um, play it from the top one more time Right, so that is the piece and those are the parts that I used again the new product is ascend modern grand but again it's it's a whole lot more than just a grand piano we've got all these cool articulations the engine is really tuned and tweaked for the piano and those articulations the new convolution engine is really exciting uh, the modular kind of drag and drop effects are also new uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on here and I really just kind of touched on the tip of the iceberg with the piano. I'm a guitar player. I know I've said that before, not to make excuses, but I'm not a great piano player by any stretch. Um, but I wanted to use it in a compositional setting in a way that kind of, you know, touched on some of the highlights of the instrument. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a better understanding of what Ascend Modern Grand is. Um, and I want to thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and you'll get all of the notifications and updates uh, when new content comes out. And again, as always, thanks for watching. Take care.